At least we finished the, the, the center part out, but... How do I do this in three cards? I feel like that doesn't do anything for anybody. <laughs> Start there. Like, I can draw, but I can't finish it. And I think it has a lot to do with the gem placement. I have to get the right one. Um. Because, yeah, if I put this here, like, what is that doing for anybody? All right, then I can move you there, but then you can put that over there and I lose. My mom wins, but at least she got, like, a whole thing. How do I win and complete this board? So then you're going to move that over to the left. All right, and I can't go that way. Wait, I win! What? I, I don't fully understand, but I will accept this and move on. I feel like they messed up. I feel like mom messed that one up. She let me win. She's my mom. Uh, the Enchantress win the ultimate match of good against evil. You can't see your foe's cards. Okay. Not being able to see my foe's cards isn't the end of the world. You've got really nice cards. Because of course you do. Probably can't move that one away. Okay. No, damn it. That switch. Well, I mean, there were there were other things that did that for me. All right, so she's got really nice cards. Bottom line. So it's up to me to uh, play that to my strength, even though I can't see what she's got. really did for you. Uh, does this blow you up? No. Moves everybody over. Let's just get you out of the way now. And then you'll eventually move away.
Do I have a flip? I do have a flip. We'll flip you. That's probably not what I want to do. This one seems like a better move for me. Yep, and that wins it for me, yes? Yes. A sweep, too. I'm not sure if I get bonus for that one, but uh, there we go. All right, that's uh, all the joustus it looks like. So now we're gonna do fighting. There's a lot of fighting to do, a lot of boss fights to redo. Let's start with the boss in the time limit. Like sometimes, what, what the hell? Just move. Jeez. Feel like he got faster, but uh, maybe that's just me needing to go against the time limit. hitting him when he's up there. Oh, that was the time limit. I'm like, he didn't hit me. Yeah, it's really like 36 seconds. What's with that move every time? Over here. I'm once again spinning. He jumps up into my feet, and that hurts me. It doesn't make a lot of sense. That's time. Yeah, he jumps into my feet, and it hurts me. I need to pick up this pattern. Once again, he's he's jumping into me. And this hurts me. I was close that time, but if he moves around too quickly and I can't keep up, like you just need to get there right on time. Still call shenanigans on him jumping into me and hurting me. And it happens a lot. Like what, I have to be going down for it to count? that last move, I might have had him. 
It would have been close. I had to get two hits in there, but maybe I bounce on him, you know? All right, he does that, then I do that, and that's two hits. Wow. Okay, down he goes. Just never give him a moment. Just bum rush until victory. All right, that's the boss. Let's move on to the Phantom Striker. I have the impact hammer. Oh, right, you can be like up there. I can't... can't do anything from there. Yeah, not having very much life is limiting here. So that's what they gave me. They gave me this. God. Already. I can't get you up there because of that. Damn it. Damn it. Forgot about the third one. He doesn't he doesn't always do the third one. Just off the bat. Like I said, he doesn't always do the third one. No! It shouldn't count if the thing's just laying out there. He should have to actually hit me with the thing. When does he turn around? Oh, come on. There's the heart. No! Ah, 